Hi, I'm Dan Snowden with Fresh Point, and let's talk about the basics of potatoes. Few items are as ubiquitous and well-known as the potato. We seem to have a love of potatoes in the United States in many forms. Fries, chips, mashed potatoes, roasted, hash browns, even potato salad. So with all the potatoes, what's the difference and how do you use them? Well, the first potato, most common, the russet potato. You might hear them called Idaho potatoes, baking potatoes, but it's the russet potato. Within this family, there are many varieties. The most common two are the Burbank, which is what I have here, named after Luther Burbank, who selectively bred the Irish potato to get a, a more virus drought resistant potato. This is the most common. It's a high starch potato, makes the best French fries. It's great for baking, even makes a spectacular mashed potato. Their size grades based on the number of potatoes that will fit in a 50 pound box anywhere as big as a 40 count potato, which is one and a quarter pounds per potato, as small as 120 count. There's number one and number two grades. What's the difference and when do you use it? Well, it's based on appearance mostly. Number one grade is when you need the potato to look like a potato, picture perfect on the presentation. And number two is if you're gonna process it down. If you're making French fries, you don't need the prettiest looking potato, you just need it to be right and be good quality. Red potatoes are also known as new potatoes. It's a bit of a misnomer. A new potato is exactly what it says. It's a newly harvested potato where the skin didn't get to cure and it's a little slippery. Red potatoes are a high wax potato. They're not really good for frying, but they're really good steamed or baked and they make the best hash browns or latkes you'll ever have. They're also good in all gratin applications. White potatoes, we don't see these as much as we used to. And with the round potatoes, you'll notice different sizes. They're shaped by, they're sized by diameter instead of by weight in the box. These are typically found in bags. So what makes the white different? Well, it's not as waxy. Perfect for potato salad. Cook it, allow it to cool, and it'll absorb all that dressing and make the perfect summer potato salad. Sort of the youngest one, the newest one on the scene is the gold flesh potatoes. These are a versatile one as well. These are great to make a Hasselback potato, which is where you make thin, small slices in each potato. They get really crispy. They're also wonderful mashed. Has a nice yellow flesh, rich potato flavor. The round potatoes have different size specs, as I mentioned. They're typically sized by alphabet. Grade size A is the largest. Size B is the medium, which is what we have here. And then size C is even smaller. Typically the size C is what we know as new potatoes and what most people associate with that. There's even purple potatoes. This is thought to be one of the original strains, also known as the Peruvian purple. This is it right here. There's really no USDA size or grade spec for these because it's a specialty item. And you might be wondering, is it like the purple asparagus? Is it only purple on the outside? Not really. This one goes all the way through. Uniquely, the purple stays in this, so this makes a wonderful mashed potato. It will stay purple on the plate. We also have fingerling potatoes. You can kind of see why they got their name. It's a generic group. There are hundreds of varieties of fingerling. These happen to be Russian bananas. These are a great roasting potato. They get a really fluffy texture. Not nearly as starchy as the russet, but a great option. Wonderful center of the plate application with the appearance. One of the newest ones on the market, these are the rainbow marble potatoes. These are smaller than a C. If we were gonna go on the alphabet sizing scale, this would be a D or an E. Great colorful assortment. The textures are similar. The starch content is similar. So we'll go waxy to medium waxy on the rainbow marbles. Adds a great variety to your menu. So utilize potatoes all around. And that's it. We've gone over the basics of potatoes and tune in for our next video.